Hello, and welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. My name is Wizzy Zero, you can also call me Wizzy, and today we're going to be doing another Diverse World Challenge. Now, I, as of right now, I still do not have any custom challenges to play, but if you would like to see me play a custom map or challenge, you can either let me know down in the comments below or on my Discord. I will have a link to my Discord as well as playlists and um, a link so you can play along with me on this and a link for a survey I currently have going, which I've mentioned in the last few episodes. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you want to see me do a map or challenge, those are the best. that's the best way to do it, either comments or Discord. Um, now one thing I want to mention before we get started as well, is I am no longer, I know I mentioned it on the uh, speedrun video, but I am no longer going to be doing any more Twitch streams for GeoGuessr. Um, so I used to do the Twitch stream for Friday Night Gaming and Sports Sunday, but I stopped doing that. And I'm not going to do it for the recording, basically any recording I'm doing for YouTube here, I am no longer going to be streaming. Uh, the only time I'm going to be streaming is if I feel like doing like a casual like Minecraft game or something along that lines, just something more casual. So that's the only time I'm going to be streaming, and you can find that out when I am going to be streaming on Discord. Like I guess the link to that is in the description below. Now, with that all being said, I don't think there's really anything else I need to add. Well, I think that's basically everything. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, I guess it's just about time we get started then. <laughs> um, so play uh, challenge. And I am going to be doing a five minute challenge. And I noticed they changed this a little bit. Um, invite all of you with this link. And this time and get started and I noticed on the map too it shows um, well once we get to the end I'll mention that but we seem to be in Europe I would say A2E272 uh, Dusk Stos um, or Duck Stos Vilnius so, okay this isn't like a typical like highway with exits and everything uh, but maybe this way I mean it shows the motorway sign or whatever I'm going this direction so maybe that direction it is A2E272 you know what? I'm gonna take a look so E is the European routes I believe it could be in Switzerland it could be in Italy yeah A so France, or not in France though, I can tell you that much. Um, let's see, I'm looking for a route. So Italy has a route, but it's green like that. Germany, I'm pretty sure we're not in because the red ones are like that and it doesn't have the A. So that's basically just how I'm gonna narrow this down. The Netherlands, we could be in the Netherlands, but do they have E routes? They do. So A27, A2 would be, so A6, 7, A2 is right here, E35 though, what about when we get further out, see it's still, when I get to here it's still like an actual highway, so I don't think I'm gonna place it there for now. But I'm pretty sure that's not where we're at. You know what? I wonder if I should just continue on. 272. Let's back it up. So we are on both, obviously. Um. Kilometer six or one twenty. A 
A2E to 72, so 16 miles to the end of it going this direction, I guess, and this is going south. Let's just stay on one side, please. I don't know if we're gonna really find anything else. We may. Um, I wanna stay on this side, please. So it's ending up here. What's this sign say? Lichtenstein? Lichtenstein is over here. I don't think, no. I mean, there might be something else on there, but I'm not gonna take the time to look. What's this one say? So we got yellow roots as well, 171. Let me back it up a little bit. So I placed it in the Netherlands. Does Netherlands have yellow roots? They do, but they have an N before that. Okay, they do here. This is um, Poland. It could be Poland. Um, A2 is over here. E30. Or the A2 goes off to, though. Uh, what else could we be in? Could be in Lithuania. You know what? That could very well be. Where's the A2 in Lithuania? Is there an A2 in Lithuania? It's... Oh, 272 over here. A2, okay. And this was route, what, 171? 116, 108, 172 actually back down that way. 174, 24 miles. So that was the correct country. We were just further south. I saw the 172. I should have gone down that way more. Vilnius. What was that town that we saw? It was... So we went south. I can't remember what it was. I don't think it was Vilnius. No, it wasn't. Um, it might have had it on that upper part, but whatever. They were 24 miles off. I'm gonna, I'll take it. Um, we're gonna go this direction. Don't ask me why. I mean, right here, I feel like neither direction is really good. I mean, there seems like there might be a village up here, village or town. There is a sign here, so... Castel Butano? Rebecca Castel Morani? Or Morano? Brescia Bergamo? That some, for some reason, sounds like Italian. I don't think it is. A21, okay, so A21 is like that, and we did see Italy. If we go back and zoom in, Italy had A roots. If we can find any of them. Yes, like right here, A4. The A4 was the same shape as this, or looked like that, so um, I would say we are in Italy. So this was A24. I wonder if Brescia. I wonder how lo oh Brescia right there. <laughs> I, was, I was zoomed right into it. <laughs> so that's going east. So. Milan 
I did not see on that sign. Gonna pay for where? I don't know where 824 is though. I feel like Bergamo is right here. Could this be the no, this isn't the A4. Is that just saying that goes towards the Okay, so that's 54 kilometers this direction. Um Rasekia, I don't know how far that is. Oh, 42 kilometers, so we're probably more in here. Sam Martin. So Cal Smarano and Robeco. I don't know if I'm going to find those or not. You know what? Let's go this direction. What's this sign say? Looks like there was some sort of root on top of that. I can't read that. It's like 451. It's like SP 451, which I am not gonna find. Uh, <laughs> and it's blurred out right there. Blurred out. That's too far to read now. Closing in on a minute remaining. I mean, I was right that it was Italy, though. I mean, it sounded Italian. Um, I don't think we're going to find anything else. So, I don't know. Okay, so it looks like there's mountains to the north, but I don't see... Any mountains, so it could be more down here. But 24, it, we saw a sign that showed A24. I don't know where A24 is. Uh, I should just leave it right there. Rovato, is that one I saw? Could be? I think it is. And I think think that's the direction we're heading in. Yeah, we're not going to get it in time. I think we're down here. Where's the A24? I don't see any A24. Oh, it was um, Rebecca, not the other one. 20 miles, I mean, we're closer than the last round, so. This is like Japan. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like Southeast Asia. Yeah, this is definitely like Japan. In fact, I think those are Japanese plates. So, we're in Japan, somewhere, in the mountains, in the, well, not really in the middle of nowhere. I was going to say, is this a town that has, like, the mannequins everywhere? Doesn't look like it, because I think there's a town in Japan here that has, like, mannequins everywhere. And that area, I think, looks similar to this. Although, I think there's a lot of Japan that looks like this, because the mountain range is kind of, like, runs the entire, like, center of the country, it seems like. This is probably not a good way to go. Well, it's probably better than the other direction, I guess. I don't know. What's this sign say? Probably nothing I can read. It's so small. No, I can't read it. Um... don't know which way to go. I feel like I should go up the hill, but then again, is that a yield sign? That is a yield sign, so that means this is more of a major road.
I wonder if I should have gone the other way. I mean, we're heck, we're getting somewhere. It seems like going this direction. But I have absolutely no idea like which region of Tokyo we're in. definitely not a touristy area because there's no English um, on any of the signs that I saw. So... I'm just gonna keep climbing up the mountain, I guess. <laughs> I feel like this is the wrong way to go. Two minutes... I don't really want to turn around at this point, but... Okay, we got a yield sign here. Okay, this is a better road. Um, let's go this way. There is a green sign up ahead. Give me, like, a root number. Of course not. HK... I think of like radio stations or something. AM. Something for the tunnel. Oh, we got a route right here. 151. It looks like it has like a re province or no, just 151 route. And those ones are not entirely that easy to find. Let's go back over here. Sumiyakizawa Bridge. What's this sign say? Probably nothing useful. Uh, yeah, I, I can completely understand what that says. I feel like there's probably a lot of tunnels on this road. And we came up to another one, so... Oh, it was a short tunnel, though. So Route 151, I don't think we're going to come across any other routes, so I'm going to take a look. Oh, yeah, I'm never going to find it. 152. I feel like these are like routes that will repeat. 151 down here. If we're down in this section somewhere, that would be amazing. <laughs> I don't think we are. I'm going to place it here for now. I mean, could have gone like. Is that the. No, that's not. The, I don't know. Could be down here. There's a tunnel. A couple tunnels there. Which way did I go? I went north. It's a short tunnel there. Okay, we were just further. We have five miles. I mean. Wow. <laughs> I'll gladly take that. Uh, only five miles off. I mean, in Japan, middle of Japan. This seems like it's like at, or Australia. Although Australia is pretty flat. Although they do have mountains, I believe, in certain regions. I mean, that's the initial thought I had for this one was Australia. I mean, we're driving on the left. I'm pretty sure parts of Australia have mountains. I mean, it's not like it's the entire country is like completely flat. Once again, this is probably the wrong direction to go in, but I mean, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. What was that? Probably some sort of rest picnic area or something like that, two kilometers on the right. Well, can we keep moving a little bit quicker, please? Thank you. Okay, we haven't come up to the sign quite yet. Around the mountain cycle trail, turn right, 300 meters. 
motorcycle trails. Green Veil vale Station, Fairlight Station, Canard Station, Canard Road. Like station, what do you mean by station? There's a rail line over there. Is it like an actual like rail station? I have no idea. Oh, and there was a um some sort of marker thing here. Six. It's a route six. What? I don't think there's any routes like is there? Got blue ones and that one. Any red ones? Yeah, I'm gonna have to look. I mean, we could be in like New Zealand. I think New Zealand uses red roots, if I'm not mistaken. I guarantee that's just, yeah. I was gonna say just for that. Around the mountain cycle trail. Around the mountains. Multiple mountains. Another road name, Beg Road. I'm begging for more information. I feel like this probably was a better direction to go in. But then again... It's hard to say. Under two minutes remaining for this round. And all we have to go on is a red route number six. Traffic behind you, let it pass. Interesting. Let it pass, let it pass. Don't hold them up anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. Five kilometers, okay, that's the, for that trail thing. What's this one for? Oh, traffic behind you, let it pass. Share the road! Welcome, rock trails, biking and accommodation. Hiking, biking, and accommodation, rather. Just about this truck. Is there anything on this truck? Probably not. Central South Land Freight Winton. Is it Southland? Winton? Uh, Central something South something Freight. Oh, I need to look at the map. I. Uh, where's New Zealand? New Zealand's over here. It does have red roots. Red route 8 over here. Or no, it was 6 we were on. Not 8. I feel like we're more in this area. Fairlight. I did see Fairlight, yeah. Southlands. Okay, so that's a region or whatever of New Zealand. Nine miles again. And final round. Um, let's go this direction. We're driving on the left again. Could be like south... Or no. I was going to say either Australia or... Um, when I said south, maybe South Africa, but... I mean, it could be... Never mind. <laughs> um, definitely not either. Um, I have no idea what that says. There's something in like... Uh, maybe that's Cyrillic as well. Well then. Um, no, we are driving on the right. Never mind. Actually, that plate. What? Red plate. Interesting. 
Russia, I'm pretty sure, does not use red plates. Um, although that was just that one car. These other ones may not be red. I don't know. Um, pedestrian bridge. Or no, not even that. Looks like it probably held like a sign or something at one point. Possibly. Oh, this could be Russia and that sign. I do not like this location. We're getting into a town. Another bus stop. I'm almost inclined to say this is like Russia, but then again. I don't know why I had to do that, but whatever. See, that's a yellow plate. Hmm. I have a feeling we're not gonna do very good on this round. See, some of them, like, that one was yellow, these all, the other ones are, like, white. And I think Russia uses white plates? Let's go further. Um, yep, I know exactly where that's at. Oops, what was this? Back it up. Dot Kiev dot US. We're in Kiev. Because it's like t dot TCLN dot Kiev dot US or something like that. Could be in Kiev. What was this? Soccer Ukraine LLC. You know what? That's the only thing I really have to go on right now is Kiev. Um, I don't, is that the name of the town? I have no idea. I have no clue. Old car. Uh, where's Kiev? Kiev is... That's not a city in... I'm pretty... No, that's a country, isn't it not? I need to place a marker. I don't know where Kiev is. I don't... <sighs> I'm gonna put it in Ukraine. I know it's not Ukraine. It's not... Oh, well, Kiev is a city. So it could be the Ukraine somewhere. Somewhere around Kiev, maybe? I was just... I thought I placed it here just before it entered, but it was more over here. I would have had, like, 70 miles, but... Eh, I, I don't think I was going to find that. I mean, maybe if I noticed one of these, but even then... I, I don't think I was going to find that. So Kiev, yeah, is the city in... There's like a capital in Ukraine or something like that. Eh, whatever. I mean, still like 4,000... Almost 4.5... Or 4 point... Well, yeah, like 4.4 thousand, so... Not terrible. So yeah, this is what I meant... Um, I was kind of going to mention earlier, but I decided to wait on. Because they have numbers showing you which round each location was, which is kind of nice. Um... But, yeah. So, it was 24,170. Not quite my high. I can't remember what my high is for this map. Let me take a look. I like maps. 
So my best is 24,385. So 24,170. Only like 215 points short of my best. So, I mean, that's not a bad effort. 24 miles, 20 miles, 5 miles, 9 miles, and then, of course, 140 miles in Ukraine there, but... I mean, I'm pleased with that. I got every country right, at least. So, Lithuania, Italy, Ukraine, Japan, and New Zealand. So, I think a couple of these I got lucky on, like the New Zealand one. Japan I got really lucky on. Um, Italy I might have gotten lucky on. Most of these, I'd say, I got lucky on, so yeah. But anyways, that is just about going to do it for this video, though, so I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And of course, as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!